So surprise, I have another stout here today. Uh, this one, however, is coming from Ale Works up in uh, Williamsburg, Virginia. And this is their Cafe Royale, an imperial coffee milk stout aged in bourbon barrels. And I think this is supposed to be kind of like Ale Works answer to the, uh, the Founders KBS, which is another coffee stout aged in bourbon barrels. And I say that only because... Uh, well, when I was picking this up at Total Wine, they had the two sitting right next to each other. And also the pricing is very, very similar. Like a four pack of these, I believe they had that priced at about $23, $24. Um, and I do have a little bit of a history with the Founders KBS. Uh, I've gone back and forth on it a few times and I believe last year I landed on it being pretty, pretty good. Hey, Domino, you want to get down? No, she doesn't. So we'll see if she knocks over the uh, the phone here. But um, yeah, just pouring it and I can already smell. It smells very similar to the uh, to the uh, the KBS. It also smells a little similar to that. Uh, macaron, macaroon, macaron stout I had the other day, that bourbon barrel aging. Yeah, but um, whereas the macarons were just really, really sweet with the coconut and the vanilla, at least the coffee kind of helps that out. So eh, it's not bad. I think I think I'm glad I only got the one bottle of this. Um, if you're gonna pay twenty something dollars for the uh, for one of those, the KBS actually wasn't that bad. I've flipped back and forth on it, but. It turns out they put a lot of work into that, and I'm sure a lot of work goes into this too. Um, but I wanna say, and I'm not, I, I wish I had written this down or taken photos or something. I wanna say this was actually just a tad more expensive. And unfortunately, I didn't see a lot online explaining why. Maybe it was just the types of barrels they used or I don't know, maybe the coffee that they use, that's entirely possible too. But I think this Aleworks one was a bit more expensive than the KBS. I don't know, go with your guts. Um, although if KBS does sell out quickly and Port Royal happens to be sitting around, uh, it, it, it works just as well. Boy, I'm really... I'm really flip-flopping back and forth on this. It's it's a delicious coffee stout. What's this coming in at? Huh. Only 8.4%, which is... Again, it's just odd because I want to say the KBS is like a higher ABV. So, yeah, if you're going to spend that much for one of these beers, go with the one with the higher alcohol. Get the bang for your buck. Again, this isn't bad for the price I paid. Um, I wish it was slightly lower, but that's the thing with the bourbon barrel aging. Boy, if it was really wishy-washy on this episode, I kind of wish I had uh, kind of wish I had some harder feelings on this. Um, but next up, I'm going to be trying something else from Mailworks, which actually looks kind of interesting. It's a little more, uh, you know, I've been doing some stouts for the winter leading into spring. And now I got some stuff that is definitely spring oriented. So the next thing from Mailworks, I'm kind of looking forward to. We'll see how that goes.